Hi. I'm happy to be a part of this Runaway Anthology and uh, this project to put some readings out and see if somebody wants to get this book. So this story is um, called Willie's Crucifixion. It's hard to believe that it's actually based on a true story, a news clip I saw in the New York Times in 1935, which I was not alive then, you should know. But I had an assignment in an American Studies class to, to read the New York Times on, read a half a year of it on microfish. Uh, it was a while ago. And I ran across this story of a man who had himself crucified. And, uh, and though I don't write fiction, I've always, I held on to that and I wrote, it took 40 years to write this story, so I'm not gonna do another one. I'm gonna read you the first page. Willie's Crucifixion. The boy pressed the nail against his father's palm and scraped it toward the wrist. He looked at the fresh line among the old work lines. Are you sure, Daddy? It'll hurt bad. I'm sure, boy. Ain't it enough to tie your arms up? It ain't right without the nails. Drive it through. He put the nail in the center of the palm again and probed for the soft spot between the small bones. He sure didn't want to hear any bones snapping like he was breaking chicken wings. At least his daddy was letting him use smaller nails than the 60-penny spikes they'd nailed the cross with. Those would tear a hand in half. Come on, hit it. His arm floated toward the nail like the air was honey. When the hammer hit the sound, it was flat, funny, and far away. The boy opened his eyes and saw blood spurting at him. His stomach turned over. The nail was in the palm, but not deep enough into the wood. He hit it again. It was easier the second time. It rang like nails he remembered. Nails in the house, nails in the barn. Daddy bit his lip and his body stiffened. Are you sure, Daddy? The boy whispered. Daddy grunted. The other one. The boy grabbed another nail. He felt like he knew how to nail a man to a cross now. He ran the nail around the soft center, found his spot, and drove it deep with one shot. He hardly saw the blood and never looked at the nailed man's eyes. If there had been more hands to nail, he could have driven them home clean as a carpenter. But he was glad they weren't nailing up the feet. Learning hands was enough for one day. That's it.